taking a look today at spin on oil filter conversion. This happens to be for an MGB, but the principle is the same for other applications. It's been a pretty hot day today. One of us is pretty much conked out. Anyway, as I was saying, this is for a uh, MGB, and the way this would work, your stock filter is a canister. This adapter goes onto the engine, and the canister, which I don't have, fits onto here. It's a big metal can with a bolt going up the middle, and it's got a replaceable element inside. So to change the oil, you take the bolt out, take the canister off, replace the element, put the canister and the new element back on. And I guess some people find that too difficult, and I agree, sometimes it's tough to get the canister to seal again properly. So these spin-on adapters exist, and the way this works, take off the canister, put this adapter in its place, then they give you this special bolt, special bolt <clears throat> goes up the middle, then your spin-on filter spins on, as the name implies, and you wind up with this sandwich, the spin-on filter and the adapter and then the original connection to the engine. My concern here, this special bolt, all of the oil, and I'll note the flow here on your typical spin-on is in the outside and out the middle. So as the oil is coming out the middle, it's going up the center here, but then it has to pass through these four holes to get to the engine. And I've got an 1160 force drill in my hand. That's approximately the size of these holes. I could not get the next size drill uh, to pass through. So, <clears throat> I did some math figuring. 11, six, here's my calculator to prove it. 1160 force hole that's 0.1719 in decimal. It's an area of 0 0.0232 square inches. There's four holes. That's a total of 0 0.0928 square inches. So what is stock? Well, I'll take a few steps here. Here's that same MGB engine with a late model spin-on adapter. And this is really the best way to go with the MGB. Uh, just get one of these late model adapters and, and put your spin on like the factory did. But the point here is the hole up the center in the factory arrangement is 7 16 Frankly, this is a little small. I've seen these at a half inch, even at 9 16 of an inch. But on the conservative side, and by direct measurement, this is uh, stock is 7 16 So taking a walk back, seven sixteenths is 0.4375 in decimal, an area of 0 0.1503 square inches. So our total area of the spin-on adapter for the oil flow is only 62% of this number, or a reduction of 38%. 62%, I mean to me that's close to half. So all of the oil is being forced through a, an area that is uh, just 62% of, in my mind, what it should be. And uh, I mean just intuitively, imagine all of the oil to lubricate the engine has to get through these four small passages. Not only is the, the area much smaller, but the oil has to turn 45 degrees to get through each of these holes, which is also going to be a restriction. And finally, even for the same cross-sectional area, dividing the flow into multiple circular paths compared to one 
circular path of the same area, it's also going to add restriction. So for three reasons, you're adding restriction to the oil flow path. Significant restriction in my mind. <clears throat> now some have argued, well you've got a bypass and if this restriction or a plugged filter gets to be too much, it'll just go into bypass. And I don't deny that. The bypass in this case is right here. If the pressure across the filter, perhaps caused by a spin-on adapter, you know, is too great, the bypass will open and unfiltered oil will flow to the engine. But if that's your rationalization for running the spin-on filter, that it will go into bypass and save the engine, uh, why run a filter at all is my argument. Also, as I'll illustrate in a moment, you cannot depend on the gauge reading uh, to tell if your oil is being choked off on the MGB because here's where they measure the oil pressure. This is leading to either a gauge or a gauge sender. This is the oil pressure coming out of the pump heading to the filter. So any restriction here, a plugged filter or the excess restriction created by a spin-on adapter is only going to raise the oil pressure reading at the dash. So this is no way to monitor that either your clogged filter or your spin-on adapter is not restricting the oil flow unless you interpreted a high reading here as meaning restriction here. So that's my take on spin-on oil filter adapters. If you have a different opinion, I welcome a comment. Our friend is still uh, relaxing and uh, I'm sure is pleased with the video as much as I am. Thanks and be sure to watch my other videos.